hey everyone, Organa Keish here. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. What tickles my fancy today? Are soul ties real? All right, so I really wanted to take a time or take a moment to talk about soul ties. Now, I am a little bit under the weather. I feel a little sick. I sound extremely nasally. I feel fine, but like congestion and my throat is bothering me a little bit. So if I sound very nasally, sorry. <laughs> So the question that's being posed here is, are soul ties real? The short answer, yes, absolutely. I was actually reading an article. I've been doing research on waiting and why wait till marriage to have sex and you know, God's principle behind that. And I came across a blog, it was an article, but it was a blog where a woman was basically saying that soul ties aren't real, that they're a myth, that your souls do not knit when you enter a emotional or sexual relationship with a person it's just two people coming together and can part their separate ways and be totally fine that is not true <laughs> one biblically the bible talks about when a man and a woman come together they become one flesh they become one entity so that debunks that one and then two i have witnessed them in my own personal life and that's all we're called to do as Christians or as people of God. We're called to witness to the things that we've seen in our lives. I'm not here to convince you that soul ties are real. I'm only here to let you guys know and share with you guys my experiences with soul ties and the things that I've witnessed other people go through when it comes to soul ties. Definitely, soul ties are real. <laughs> Some joints is real, honey. They real. Can you relate to this? Thinking about an ex knowing that the relationship that you guys had was destructive was not good for you maybe the person cheated on you or maybe the person mistreated you or maybe you just realized this person is not for me but you can't help but think about this person all the time and it's been about a year since you guys have broken up and there's still urges um to make you want to go back or maybe there's a person that you know good and well that you should not have feelings for maybe that person is married or maybe it was a one night stand maybe you had a one night stand with a person and you knew that it was a one night stand but you still can't get this person off your mind you still want to hit this person up and you find yourself looking needy looking desperate because you always want to be around this person you always want to text this person or hit this person up and you're just like why can't I let this person go you've tried so many ways so many different things to stop thinking about the person and you still find yourself struggling nine times out of ten that's a soul tie so basically what a soul tie is is when you enter a level of intimacy with a person and it connects you guys together. You don't necessarily have to be having sex with a person to create the soul tie. Sometimes you can just be thinking about having sex with a person and that can create a soul tie. If you don't know, I'm a virgin. I have never entered into that kind of relationship with somebody, but I've also had very strong soul ties with people that I've been physical with and with people that I haven't been physical with. Soul ties exist, whether it's from kissing to doing things deeper, they exist and they can be created just by entering that intimate sexual place with a person, whether it's mentally or physically. So what I want to basically tell you is, is it's time to take control back. For people who feel like their feelings for someone stumps their better judgment, causes them to make the wrong decisions, causes them to go towards something that they ultimately know is wrong for them. This is what this video is about. It's about taking the time to break those soul ties. It is an amazing thing to no longer be pressured by desires that you honestly wish you didn't have. I'm gonna give you a personal example as I always do. So for me, there was a person who was in my life who we never really had a relationship, honestly. And because I really liked him, I started to think, you know, about him in ways that I probably shouldn't have, but you know, we all been there. That created a soul tie and that went on for years. Now it got to a point where I realized that <clears throat> this relationship would never happen. Not only that it would never happen, it would never work. I was just like, okay, I just gotta let this guy go. I gotta let the idea of him go. And I never could. I never could in the years that I've tried to run away from it. Every time I would be like, okay, forget him. I'm done, I don't care. Something, some force would pull me back and keep me there and keep my attention on him and keep me thinking about him. Well, God took me through the process of breaking the soul tie. God would not let me go to sleep and he was like, you need to break some soul ties. And one of the people that he put on my spirit to break the soul ties with, it was him. And I'm like, God, like, I've never done anything with this man. I've never been, you know, physical with this man. Why do I have to break? Why is there even a soul tie? And God revealed to me that soul ties are more than just physical actions. They're also mental actions. 
sex is a lot mental. It is very much physical, but it's a lot mental, especially for women as we're more emotional than physical. Anyway, my dad, he's a pastor and he's done teachings on soul ties and breaking soul ties and how important it is to break soul ties. So um, I knew what I had to do. I didn't realize I had to do it, but I knew the steps to breaking a soul tie, basically asking God to separate my soul from this person. Whatever was knit between our souls, break it and make me one complete entity and him one complete entity and allow us to go our separate ways unconnected untethered and I prayed that and honestly within the next couple of days I literally felt a difference within myself it all just kind of disappeared overnight and that was amazing and, and in that I realized wow that soul tie is what was keeping me feeling like I needed to be around this man and since breaking the soul tie I haven't thought of him I haven't felt the urging to message him or to call him or to see him or to meet up with him or anything like that and it was all through breaking of the soul ties and sometimes it doesn't happen overnight that situation happened overnight and that was a, a miracle of God God, but sometimes it takes a while because it was another relationship that I was in that I had a legitimate relationship with this man and breaking the soul ties took months it took a while for me to really get over it and it all depends on how long you venture into your relationship with the person if you have been with this person for years and you have been physical with this person for years if the soul tie is gonna be harder to break whereas if it's just a mental thing maybe it can be overnight because you haven't you know reached that physical level with the person all in all the breaking of soul ties is important for your freedom, for your emotional freedom, for you to feel like you are in control. And you have to have faith that once you pray that prayer, God has literally broken that soul tie. One thing I want to stress is this. Only God can break soul ties, okay? We're talking about spirits here. We're talking about spiritual realm. Who better to deal with the spiritual realm than the biggest spirit of them all? God is the only being that can break a soul tie. So you can't just be like, oh, I break the soul tie keep it moving that's not gonna work you have to have to have to have to have faith that God has broken that soul tie because without faith it's not gonna work you have to truly believe that God has done it and once you believe that you'll start to see the effects of it in your life if you feel like this is something that you actually really want to do and something that you feel has been plaguing your life as it had been mine then I want you to pray this prayer with me God I thank you for giving me the awareness about soul ties and the power that they can have over me I want to be set free father I renounce the these soul ties in the name of Jesus. I ask that you break them, Father, that you break them, God, in the name of Jesus. Set my spirit free. Let us be complete separate entities, me going my way, them going their way. Let my emotions and all that I am be guided by your power and by your strength and by your spirit. I have faith, Father, that you can and will break these soul ties. I thank you in advance. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So once you make this simple prayer and you have faith that God will do it, these soul ties will be broken and you will either immediately feel a difference or in time you will feel a difference. And even if you're skeptical about this whole process, what do you really have to lose? but a prayer, just a prayer and having faith that God can do it. You will never understand the freedom you feel once a soul tie is broken until you have taken the time to break the soul tie. I'm telling you it is life changing. It is a freedom that can't be bought. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope um, I was able to get across what the Spirit of God wanted to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media. All of my handles will be down in the video description box. If you haven't subscribed, y'all, what you doing? Click the subscribe button and become a part of the family. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.